guys welcome back to no catchy name it's me ella today i wanted to hop on here and show share with you guys <laughs> i always mess it up some of the things that i've finished in the last uh week or so one of them's a little bit older than that and it's because i remembered i showed it in like a vlog i think it was one of my uh, 100 days of halloween videos but i never showed it in like a crochet video <laughs> so i wanted to go ahead and show it again before i i still have ends to weave in <laughs> on it and then it'll be 100 percent done but uh so i'll link all the patterns down below and I'll try to remember everything, hook sizes and stuff, as I go along. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop into it. So I got some, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven finished objects, a couple whips, a little bit of happy mail to share with you guys. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and hop into the finished objects. So first, I most recently was working on some Grinch applique, or not applique, amigurumis for a craft market <laughs> it's called a christmas market coming up it's in early december it's the second day of december uh that me and my sister are doing and so i'm making a bunch of amigurumis up to um take to that you know so i made some grinches i'm gonna make a few christmas things but not really a lot mostly just cute like stocking stuffer type things but i did want to make a few christmas things and for sure i wanted to make these grinches because i love this pattern but this is a free pattern by little crochet farm and it's called mini happy grinch the reason it's called mini is because it's meant to be an ornament but I used worsted weight yarn and I think I used a G four millimeter hook to make mine bigger and it just amigurumi me. So I think I did show them to you before, but they weren't all the way done. So now they're all the way done. So I made four of them. <laughs> Here's one. So he's completely done. I added his hair and his face and his fuzzies, <laughs> his uh, scarf. So there's one and then her hair is three more. <laughs> so I did make four of these little Grinches. I've made a bunch of these in the past. The last two years, I believe I made some. And it's just a fun pattern it works out pretty quick and uh it's made in a bunch of pieces but you the legs the body and the arms like you make the arms separate but you you crochet them in so it's really just a solid piece when uh when you think about it <laughs> and then you, you do have to stitch on the face and stuff and then make the scarf but it's super easy i love this pattern it's such an easy and cute pattern <laughs> so i did make four of those and this is just uh red heart spring green and cherry red and white for the scarf and a little bit of yellow in his eyes is bright yellow. And then black, of course. <laughs> so it's all red heart. But I just love him. I love, uh, every time I make him, I just love him. <laughs> He's just adorable. All right, the next Amigurumi. Oh, I forgot to look up who it's by. It's on Instagram. I'll put it in the description box. Um, I wrote it down, but I, I meant to go look it up and see who published it, but I forgot. But it's called, I think it's called Chunky Bear or Chunky Bear. <laughs> and, um on the little it's a free tutorial or free pattern on instagram it's made with like um chunky yarn like uh blanket yarn but i don't ever use yarn like that mostly because it's real expensive and i like worsted weight <laughs> um so i just pulled out a brown worsted weight yarn and i made two of them <laughs> he's so cute this one's a little bit fatter than the other one i accidentally stuffed him a little too much but they are no so except the ears you do have to sell the ears on but the little um arms and legs and the tail are bubble stitches and then you just make the little ears and sew them on <laughs> i used um safety eyes and then i just added some detail and i just stitched on a little nose i do have safety noses but the ones that i have that are black look more like a dog nose than just like a generic triangular shaped one so i just stitched on a nose so i did just make two of those this yarn was gifted to me by rose from rose likes crochet but um i don't know what it's called because it didn't have a ball band on it i meant to look because i have another one but a different color and i forgot but it's just a big giant ball of brown and i just like the color brown it's a really pretty round brown and i think these bears turn out adorable <laughs> i don't know if i'm gonna make any more of these but i made two of them and he's cute <laughs> i love him and i think the safety eyes is um 12 millimeters that's the ones i that's my like go-to size i always go with most of the amigurumis i like but i think they're so cute <laughs> So that'll be linked below. It is on Instagram and it's free. It's just photos that you can just copy from. All right. Those are my, all my finished objects. Next. Oh, no, it's not. The shawl. <laughs> this is the one that I showed in one of my Halloween videos. And um, I forgot that I never showed it on like actual crochet video. This is a bag a day pattern. And it's called Twilight After Sunset Shawl. So it's a YouTube tutorial. And the yarn is yarn that was gifted to me by Esmeralda from God Rocks 2107. She gives it to me uh, a while ago, and it's named after, she had it hand dyed by someone, <clears throat> and it's named after my daughter, June, <laughs> and it's a really pretty purple and green color, but here is the shawl. 
I never did show it because uh, I showed it in just one video and then I forgot to show it again. But it's beautiful. I love the pattern. And it's starting to get chilly now in the evenings here. So I can start wearing this when we're like out on the porch. Or if we go to do a um, little bonfire and make hot dogs or whatever. I can wear it. And it's just special because it was yarn made for me. And uh, with my daughter of mine. So it's special. <laughs> I used up almost every bit of it. I have like a little tiny, not even a ball <laughs> left of it. Um, that I'll, I might try to figure something else to do with it. But I love this. It's so pretty. So now that I showed it to you, I do still need to weave in the two ends, <laughs> the starting end and the finishing end, and then it'll be 100% done, and I can use it. So, there it is. <laughs> but that is a video tutorial. Alright, next thing is my two whips. So, these are just two active whips right now. I do have a couple hibernating whips, <laughs> and then I'm going to try to find some more little amigurumis to make. I want to try to make uh, some little frogs and stuff, and uh, just some other little animals that I think might do good. There is yarn fuzzies flying out everywhere. But one is my Halloween project that I'm doing with my scrap balls from my um, swap partner that I do almost every Halloween. <laughs> I think for the last four years, we've been swapping um, yarn balls and then other little goodies as well. So I started making a snake. And this snake pattern is a free one called Sammy the Snake by Cuddly Stitches Craft. And the eyes are a different pattern though. I'll talk about that in a second. But uh, there's his head. So this was day one of my yarn balls. And then day two was this orange. Day three was this one that looks like corn. <laughs> Day four. And it look, you can see the holes, but they're not that visible in person. <laughs> it's just the lighting. Uh, what was that one? Four. Day five and day six. So today's day seven. Today's seventh. And the yarn bar that opened is black. So I'll be adding it to here. What I'm going to do, because if I did all 31 days, this would be a huge snake. What I'm going to do is 15 days. It's still going to be big. But then I'm going to do, um, when I do 15 days, I'm going to make another snake. That way I have two of them. My kids, I have two kids, so they can both play with it. And also plan on using them to keep stuff from going underneath the couches. <laughs> and potentially as door draft stoppers, whatever, <laughs> when it gets really cold. I do already have one of those, but you can always have more. <laughs> Anyways, they'll just be slithering around the house. They may be in the living room. They may be in the kitchen. Who knows? We'll probably find them a little bit everywhere. <laughs> the eyes are repeat crafter me. Because uh, because of this part was black, um, the biggest safety eyes I had that would look good with this or solid black so I thought it would look kind of weird you know so I wanted to make crochet eyes and I was going to use Joe's from Joe's web but hers didn't have a white border around it so they would have been black the way hers is made again it would have blended <laughs> I thought so I remembered repeat crafter me had some that she made uh pretty recently so I went and did them and that's what it was the snake I'm using a g hook four millimeter and the eyes I used a g hook four millimeter when I made them I thought they might be too big but I think they turned out really good I like it the size <laughs> and I picked a purple color I uh, just out of my scrap balls because uh the purples here I thought would go good and that's just uh red heart black and white and this is a pink scrap ball I think it's red heart uh that I made the tongue the tongue is the snake pattern but I love him so I'm just gonna make him down to less uh color or so and then I'll start decreasing it just a smidge so that it'll taper off you know and then I'll start the second one <laughs> but he's turning out pretty big he's already pretty long I'm excited. I can't wait to see how he turns out and how the other one comes out. I like the colors so far. She did a real good job of picking Halloween colors. I just picked all kinds of colors and named them Halloween things, but she did it way better than me. Um, I'll have to remember that for next year if we do it again um, to do better. <laughs> I'm always so uh, anxious when I send people gifts that they're not going to like it, but um, I love her so far. I love this yarn right here. I like to have a bunch of it. I don't know what it is, but it's really pretty. Anyways, that's my snake. <laughs> the last whip is something new that I started because I have um, six balls. I think it's the jumbo ones of Red Heart Ombre. I have two of the blue, which I think is called Scuba. Two of the pink, which I think is called Coral, maybe. And two of the green, which not the apple one, the other one. I don't know what the other one's called. It's not apple, but it's the other one. <laughs> um... And I wanted to make a blanket or something just to use up that yarn. And I, I kind of know who I'm going to give it to. If I don't get emotionally attached to it. <laughs> which I tend to do with blankets. Um, and this is just, the it's just called the, um, the sedge stitch. But the blanket that I, I guess the pattern that I'm following is called Fabian's Ombre Baby Blanket. But it's just the same stitch. So it's just a stitch repeat really. But that's the pattern that I looked up when I was looking at Ravelry. That's the one I liked. Um. That I clicked on to learn how to do it. 
So it is a pattern, but it's really just a stitch, you know. And it's a baby blanket. <laughs> but I doubled the starting chain so that it would be bigger because I wanted it to be like a, a grown-up size blanket. <laughs> so it's pretty big. I think my starting chain was 212 because it, it's repeats of... I don't remember. <laughs> it's like repeats of 3 plus 2 or something like that. I can't remember. But, um... And I'm using an H hook, a 5mm. I've only done a few rolls, but I think it's looking pretty. There's hair everywhere. I shed like a dog. <laughs> um, I think it's pretty texture. So I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do one ball of each color and then repeat that. Or I might do a big section of blue, then green, then pink. I don't know. I haven't figured out the color way that I want to do it. But I want to use up all six of those balls to get them out of my stash and to use them. You know, they've been hanging around. I know for sure Devin got me the pink and green ones i don't remember if he got me the blue ones or if i got it in happy mail but i've had them for a while so i need to use them <laughs> but um this blue is so pretty it's called scuba but it's kind of long <laughs> it's, this is supposed to be the um the length i think is what she says but you know it's it's really since it's just a solid stitch you can have it go whichever way you want so i think i'm gonna use this as the width of the blanket and then just make the length of it the six balls so it'll probably turn out rectangle, <laughs> but that's okay. But yeah, so I'm just barely, this is going to be kind of like an in-between project when I'm just wanting to work on something kind of mindless because it's the same stitch over and over and over again. Um, I can pull this out and just work on it like while watching TV or something and I just want to crochet without thinking about it. So this is my mindless project. <laughs> but that is everything I've been crocheting. So it's kind of a lot. I hear the baby crying, but Devin's in there, so she's okay. Um, I love working on my snake. I haven't done it today, but I still got plenty of time today. And I need to, I found it, I'm going to make some of the, I think it's called Leggy Frog 2.0 by Joe's Web, Joe. <laughs> um, I started making her pattern. I got one of the eye sockets, my eyes itching, uh, done <laughs> before I needed to deal with, you know, life. So it's just sitting in there uh, in my yarn bucket. <laughs> but I want to make some of those for my craft fair. So maybe like, maybe six of them, a couple different colors. I don't know. I got plenty of time to make just a bunch of random. I'm going to have one six foot table. My sister's going to have one six foot table. So, you know, hers will be her stickers and things. Mine will be just emigrimis. And as they sell, I'll just like replenish. You know, if I make too many to just put cover up the table, <laughs> I will just replenish as they sell. Hopefully if I, you know, do good. But yeah, so that's all the crochet stuff. All those links will be down below. Now for Happy Mail. <laughs> one of my Happy Mails is just labels for my bag, uh, my bags, but I wanted to show them with you. And let you know who I ordered them from. Because a lot of times I get asked that question. Uh, I've been using these same people for years. <laughs> and before I, I found them, I used a few different Etsy shops. And then when I found these ones, I just stuck with them. But they're called Ever Emblem. They have an Etsy, but they also have their own website. And um, it comes in a really nice, um, like, thick cardboard envelope. And then this envelope's inside of it. It's got the instructions on it for... Um, sew on iron on or heavy iron on and how to cut them and stuff because you can order them pre-cut or not cut i ordered them not cut because it's a little bit cheaper she's, she's upset she probably wants me to finish this up but inside the envelope is my labels which i ordered two sheets this time each sheet has 40 that fold so there they are i cut them out and there's always a business card with a coupon on the back <laughs> i'll always use the coupon code and she always includes a sticker, and they almost always involve things that I do. Like, they're always sewing machines or yarn balls, which I think is cool. She's upset. <laughs> but, um, she's not feeling good. She's teething. So, anyways, that's what I got from that. And then I also got a package from Beverly. And I actually knew what it was. She never told me. But I watched one of her videos, and she got these. And she has gifted me these, I think, twice. And when I seen her open these in her Happy Mail, I was like, I bet you she's going to send those to me. And then when I happened to just see my uh, informed delivery that I was getting something from where she's from, I was like, that's what they are. <laughs> and it was. I thought it was so funny. But these are <clears throat> some of the Sesame. She has a YouTube channel, by the way. I'll link her below, too. It is called Beverly, Beverly Crafts, I think. Um, she's really awesome. I love watching her. She makes all kinds of stuff to sell, too. And uh, she goes on cruises and stuff and talks about them. And I always wanted to go on a cruise. So, one of these days. But anyways, she sent me some of these before. And um, I've got some from other people too. And they are the Sesame Street yarns. So, she sent me two of the Abby Cadabbies. <laughs> I love that color. 
This is actually the square that I got hung up on because I'm making the bag of day blanket of these and I got to this square and I, I did it like three times and it kept messing up and that's why I put that it's like it's in hibernation. I'm gonna pull it out eventually and finish it because I do like it but if it's this the square for this one <laughs> that threw me off I'll do it one of these days. <laughs> so two of those and then there's three of the emeralds. So, thank you so much, Beverly. I haven't even emailed you yet. I just got these today. So, I'll probably email you before I put this up. <laughs> but, uh, so I got three more of those to make things with. Uh, I don't know what yet. Maybe they're meant to make hats with them. <laughs> I might for sure make a sissy one with this. She doesn't watch Sesame Street, though. I tried so hard to get both of my kids into Sesame Street, and it's just not their thing. Because <laughs> I grew up watching, you know, Sesame Street and um, Reading Rainbow and Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. PBS shows, you know. Um. Because back then we had like three channels. <laughs> and one of them was PBS. Um, but my kids just never really liked it. I loved Between the Lions and Wishbone and Arthur and all those kind of shows. And they watch, you know, modern shows. Which I guess is fine. But whatever. They do like Bluey. So that's a good thing. Because I like Bluey too. <laughs> but that's the happy mouth that I got. Is the yarn from Beverly and my labels. Which I need to cut. Because I'm going to be working on bags. And then also I went to Dollar Tree earlier. <laughs> I was looking for um, dice actually. I seen them at mine. They weren't at this particular Dollar Tree, so I'm going to have to go to mine anyways to get it. Big, like, foam dice that you can write numbers on or whatever um, for some homeschool stuff that I'm doing. But I, they had this Christmas stuff up. <laughs> this was in a town beside ours. So I found these trims. They're pom-pom trims. Let's see here. They look like that. So I got it in white, red, and green because I thought this would be good for crafts and also junk journaling. Which I like to do. I'm just not that good at it. <laughs> but, you know, practice makes progress. But I think they'd be cute for in Happy Meal too. Like with, as a um, ribbon, you know, the tie-up gifts. <laughs> and then I also got some of these little wood cutout things. Wood shapes. This one's stars. Again, for like junk journals and stuff. And then snowflakes. They had a bunch of different ones. Different Christmas shapes. But these are the two that I thought I would use out of all of them. But anyways, that's everything that I have to show, share with you guys. <laughs> I gotta edit out a few bits that I messed up, but that's okay. Um, like I said, all the patterns will be down below. I'll link Beverly's channel down below. Check her out. And if you want to, head over, if you need labels for anything, head over to Ever Emblem. I'll leave links below. Um, and buy some labels from She has all kinds to choose from. They, I think it's two people, but um, they're out of Michigan. And I almost always used to like pre-covered i would order like on monday and I'd, I'd have them by friday but because of covid and shipping and stuff now i order them like this week and i'll get them next week she's always they're always really fast uh getting them out to me and um they're just nice i've, I've been working with them for years and i love them i love the way they look <laughs> but anyways if you order anything from them maybe put it in like the message thing that, that i sent you over i don't know if it'll help me anybody in my who knows <laughs> but uh, she did once a long time ago when i first started buying there I guess a lot of y'all did go over there and check her out because she sent me a bunch of free labels, different ones. And it was cool to get to try out like different shapes and stuff. But I love her new packaging. <laughs> it's like up to, it's in a really pretty box. It's got like confetti on it, like uh, polka dots. And uh, June actually had it. She was playing with it. But it's like a stiff one so that it doesn't get all bent up. And uh, then this is inside of it. And then inside of it's the labels and the business card and the sticker. <laughs> and there's always a free sticker. I hope I didn't never threw it away because I never knew that she sent stickers until fairly recently I found one and I was like oh my gosh <laughs> but uh, I have a bunch of them I have some on my cart back here and some just in my sticker stash um but I love them anyways <laughs> go check them out and give them some love because they're definitely nice people I've never had any issues with them and uh when you're in the process of like doing your label and getting it picked out the way you want it um they're really good at sending like proofs to you to see if you like the way it's positioned and stuff so that's nice but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and go check on the baby and <sighs> Maybe work on my snake if she's okay. Or maybe I'll try to... I like these little patterns like this. Instagram's got a bunch of them for free. I have a bunch saved on my Instagram. Uh, people share them. And uh, they're just cute. And they're like, I can, I pop these out, both of them, in less than an hour. Really quick little... The longest part is usually stitching these on and then hiding all the ends. I'm getting better at hiding them. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So everything will be linked below. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because now I'm to the point where I'm just blabbing. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.